Okay, so some things in life are really unpredictable, but not to me. I am here to forecast your coming week. From tips to warnings, news to gossip, you'll be fully equipped for the week ahead. So looking ahead now from Monday to Sunday the 3rd of May, which is Australia's big night of nights, the Logies. Some of my Logies predictions are Natalie Bassingthwaite will make a slightly arrogant but very glamorous arrival in a helicopter. <laughs> but high winds will cause the copter to make an emergency landing at Essendon Airport. <laughs> She'll have to catch a 20-minute cab back, missing the red carpet and the Logies. Not so glamorous after all. <laughs> when accepting the gold Logie, Andrew Denton will accidentally kiss Gretel, Gretel on the lips, both turning red with embarrassment, several awkward jokes will follow. Katrina Roundtree will wear a forgettable gown, while Georgie Parker will embarrass herself by wearing nothing but a pearl thong at the after party. <laughs> Truly unforgettable, I'm sure. And towards the end of the night, Grant Denya will have a minor fall down some stairs in the gaming area of Crown. No one will really see it, but now that you know about it, keep your eyes peeled. It will be quite funny in an awkward, sad kind of way. And from the Logies to Hollywood gossip, Private footage of Merrill Streep doing the YMCA at a friend's 40th will surface on the internet. <laughs> Not really getting much attention though as it's poor quality and it's quite boring, but it's up to you to decide. It's there if you want it. My next time, uh, my warning for next week, might want to reschedule picnics and lunches and jogging in the tan on Wednesday as a flock of doves will be found crying in the botanical gardens. <laughs> and the sound will be unbearable. So avoid the park. In health, if you have an upset stomach next week, it's because of the planets realigning. It's going to be setting everyone a little bit off tilt. Or it could be from uh, bad pork or that you're pregnant. <laughs> but you might want to get that checked out. <laughs> this, uh, this week's handy tip, if you're playing Cluedo, it's 80% uh, Colonel Mustard in the study with a revolver. <laughs> Trust me on that one. And next week, quickly in numbers, $10,000 worth of scratchies will be bought with a total of $12 in prize money being handed out for the whole week. 67 sleazy bosses will get punched square in the face with three more just getting clipped under the chin. And finishing off, as we always do, with my emotional forecast for the coming week. There looks to be an immature sun shower coming in over on Wednesday. It's going to cause everyone in its path to act like children. You'll crave sugar, cry if you don't get it, laugh at fart jokes and find endless humour in a cardboard box. For me, that's just a normal weekend, but for some people, it might throw you off a little bit. But now you know the, what is in store. Enjoy the week ahead. Take it, it? it all just comes to me and I have to get it out. And you have to get it out. I know. Are you looking forward to the Logies? Oh, well, now I am. I want to see Grant Denya uh, tumble down the stairs. <laughs> no, no, the Logies are always good to have a look at. I know. I love to see what kind of, you know, B-grade American celebrity we get across. Like, to make us feel okay about ourselves. Yeah. yeah. This is the youngest son of Growing Pains, who? Oh, so, no. you know, it's He's got an accent. <laughs> That's why we love him to come down. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give Jess another round of applause, guys.